Hey, what's going on, Fight Fans? This is Capital Combat. I'm Rob Jarrell. And um, it's been a while since we did some videos. You know, things come up. It's the holidays. Gotta see family, you know, working, buying gifts, you know, all that good stuff. So I wanted to do a series of videos just talking about, because it's the end of the year, talking about some of the uh, divisions. And it's kind of a hard one for me to choose because, you know, we got 140, 147, 154 is deep, 168 is popping, a lot of young guys coming up. And, you know, heavyweight is getting real interesting, even though it's still weak as a division. So I'm going to start this one off at uh, 175, light heavyweight. Why? Because it's a big deal about Andre Ward moving up to, um, to 175 and he immediately becomes a top 10 fighter in that division automatically. Um, and we know that uh, Kovalev and Adonna Stevenson are at the top of the food chain. Adonna Stevenson is the lineal champ and has the WBC and the, and Kovalev has the WBA, the IBF and the WBO belts. So those are the two top fighters and they're top and they're in the pound for round uh, top 15 at the very least, uh, depending on who you, who site you're looking at. We know that Andre Ward is scheduled to fight Kovalev at the end of 2016. Kovalev has a really mean 2016 coming up because he's going to rematch with John Pascal. And then he's going to possibly fight Adonis Stevenson during the summer. And then in the year off, we'll fight Andre Ward. He beats all three. Hall of Fame. I'm sorry, that's instant Hall of Fame. Um, Andre Ward beats any two of, two of those three. He's going to the Hall of Fame. Adonis Stevenson, same thing. This will determine their legacies. The next 12 to 18 months will determine their legacies going forward. Now, we know, um, but besides that, you know, everyone's talking about Ward running away from Triple G from 160, which doesn't make any sense. Um, let that man become the king of 160 and try to take all the challenges there. Um, and then the guys at 168, a lot of noise being made. I like what's going on. A lot of new blood. Love it. But everyone's acting like the 175 division, which is one of the hardest, if not the hardest jump in boxing, is not bereft without a crap load of challenges. And let's forget, let's forget Kovalev. Let's forget Adonis Stevenson. You got guys, and I have to go, uh, to my other phone and bring up all these names because I can't remember them all, but you're going to have undefeated guys who need to make a name for themselves, like a lighter at Alvarez out of Columbia. He's undefeated. He defeated Isaac Chalimba, who was always hanging around. Um, of course, Isaac Chalimba. You got uh, this guy, Sullivan Barrera, who's been knocking people out out of Cuba. And they're talking about uh, Andre Ward fighting him. If the money's right, um, there's this guy that did just be um, Uneski Gonzalez named Vlacheslav Shabransky out of, holy crap, I don't know where that is out of. It's not the Ukraine, I don't think. I have to get back to you on that one. Um, you got Marcus Brown who's working his way up, and there's plenty of names and challenges, maybe not the biggest challenges, but their challenges. I mean, you got from far, cleverly, Chalimba, Stiglitz, Najib Mohammedi, um, cleverly Rodriguez, that are just kind of hanging around. You just don't know if they're gonna be, you know, ever get a belt, but they're always gonna challenge. Some are gatekeepers. You know, you got um, Beer to Beev out of, um, I think he's out of Russia too, who. It's a beast. He's beating people. Sakyo Bika is that, that gatekeeper. He's going to give you a tough, you know, good good rounds. And he's going to determine how really tough you are. Then you got guys who maybe see the B-level just because they haven't faced anyone like Eric Skolan, Skolan and Shawnee Monaghan, who I think is with top rank. But they're taking him really slow, and I don't know why. It's time for him to... Uh, to really step up if I'm not mistaken he's a little bit older and I want to say being undefeated he is 26 and 0 yeah bro time for you to uh see some real challenges but like I said um Edwin 
Rodriguez. It's guys to fight at 175 that's worth fighting. Gonzalez is a tough out. He's a hard hitter. He gave uh, Pascal all he can handle in their fight. So, and and this guy Thomas Usheisen, who, again, another guy who isn't, he's fairly young, but he's 25-0, and 0, and his challenges leave a lot to be desired. So, I'm just wondering if these guys out of Europe and these promoters can really get together because there are a lot of interesting fights that can be made, that need to be made, and that all of us would like to see. Not just with War, but with Kovalev, Stevenson, Beertsbev, Sullivan Barrera out of Cuba, who I think, who I would love to see Ward and see who's going to step up and be, you know, ready for the challenges in 2016. It can be an exciting year for light heavyweight, and that's what I would like to see. Um, right now, I would have to put Ward because he just got there over most of the guys on this list, except Adonis Stevenson and Kovalev. Just because of the fact that those guys have been doing it in that division. And a lot of the other guys are truly unproven. And Andre Ward is new to the division. His last fight was against Paul Smith at 172. Yet yeah, it's technically like heavyweight, but it's not at the full limit. So it remains to be seen. It's interesting. I think given if people can put their stuff aside and make these fights, everyone can make some money. Every Someone's going to make a name for themselves. And, um, oh, yeah, let's not forget B-Hop. He's going to end his career at 175, I believe. He hasn't fought since 2014, so it could be ring rust. could be age. I would like him to see get one more quality win and just ride off in the sunset. But, you know, B-Hop is stubborn even with him going in at 51 into his next fight. So um, let us know what you think, guys. Um, it's going to be interesting. If you got any questions, just hit us up. Let us know if you got any thoughts. If you have anyone that you know we should be watching out for. I've seen several guys a light heavyweight, and I'm excited about them. So um, until next time, guys. <laughs>